Okay, Gentleman Productions presents Dragon Ball Z slash Super Deleted Scene Skits Cuz Reveal Vid. Yes, Trunks, this little girl here is 18 and mine's daughter. I want to make sure we all knew that. You see, Trunks, a lot has changed since the last time you were here, and a lot of us have gotten a whole lot stronger since then, such as Goku, your father, and even me. Ah, yes, I have got a lot stronger since then, Trunks. So, in other words, I can take you down, you little punk. Ah, come on, dear. I'm trying to sound tough and menacing here. Sample? Wait a minute. So, Bulma, you and Vegeta never had sex? Well, all things considered, I guess I can't blame him. Though... Oh, Goku, we all know that your wife wishes you would stop fighting so much, while mine wishes I was a stronger fighter. Uh, uh Goku, remember that Goku Black incident a while back when older Trunks came back to see us? Um, are you sure we won't be getting any more visits like that? I mean, not that I have anything against Trunks' grown-up self, mind you, but, uh... Well, I, uh, I, uh, no time to talk now, Goku. The Paradise Herb should be dead ahead. Let's go. Last one there's a rotten egg. Uh, I can't believe I'm late. I hope Goku didn't start the announcement without me. Mm, what the? No, 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 nope! Oh, I gotta hide. Where am I gonna hide? I don't see why. I mean, I think it's nice that Chi-Chi and Vegeta could get along so well, as Piccolo keeps telling me how Chi-Chi can be really cranky to him. Though not too long after we swapped back, I told Yamcha about this a day later. While he didn't seem too happy about it at first, until I told him about how Bulma got really mad at how Vegeta and Chi-Chi were getting along so well, and he thought it was hilarious. Ah, it's nice to see I can make an old friend like him laugh. A race? That sounds awesome! Okay, let's go, Krillin! Okay, this isn't really like the older Trunks I know. If anything, this one tries a little too hard to sound like his dad. Well, Piccolo lives with my family. When we're not out fighting bad guys, my wife and I normally use Piccolo to help do chores around the farm. But I also use Piccolo to help take care of Gohan while I'm away. Also, while my wife Chi-Chi doesn't like Piccolo very much, but she does like the fact that Piccolo doesn't eat anything, and he only drinks a little bit of water. And since Piccolo is a Namekian that's living with us, we don't pay him any money either. Isn't that great? Hey Gohan, wanna feel up Piccolo's crotch? It feels really nice and smooth. Well you see Gohan, Vegeta has been one of my best pals in battle for years now. Vegeta has always been one of my closest allies and we often love to train together. Especially when we were in the hyperbolic time chamber for a few days, in which we lived together for three years. So I figured that this means that Vegeta is my second wife. Oh, come on, Bulma! You know very well that I need to surpass Kakarot in order to be worthy enough to truly become the almighty prince of all Saiyans! The only reason why I stayed with you for so long is because your place has so many devices I can use for training! Yeah, about that. Back then, she tried to get all friendly with me. But I told her to go away, since I was busy training. So one day, she demanded that I provide her with some sample, and, and she said I had to do it, otherwise she wouldn't let me train anymore. So I did. Then later that year, Trunks was born. What? Oh, you want to have a go at this woman? I got more dirt on you. Hey guys, want to know the real reason why Bulma insisted that people don't know about us? It's because their company, Capsule Corp, is a big sponsor for that imbecile, Mr. Satan. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is such a nightmare. Oh, there's no sense of being that can help me recover from this migraine. There, there, Chi-Chi. It's all right. I do understand what you're feeling right now. Oh, yes. We are both getting viciously humiliated by this nightmarish fiasco. But say, Chi-Chi... After seeing Bulma's lack of maturity and Kakarot's lack of, well, basic intelligence, has given me an epiphany. How about we switch spouses? At least for a little while. So what do you say? 
After all, I am the prince of all Saiyans. <sighs> Chi-Chi, please don't blame yourself for this. That fool, Kakarot, clearly does not deserve someone like you. Yes, but please do listen to me. You deserve a lot better than this. For far too long you felt alone and neglected by that thoughtless imbecile Kakarot. Well, no more. Chi-Chi, you could be living a much better life for you and your family than what that idiot Kakarot would do. And he practically treats you like his maid, whereby all rights you are the queen of the castle. And if that moron Kakarot can treat you like an equal instead of his maid, well then, then that will be his problem now, would it? I remember. My father and I were supposed to make sure Cell didn't absorb you by defeating him. And the sad part is, my father was winning when he was fighting Cell. Until Cell asked my father to let him absorb 18 to give him a better fight. And then my father accepted that offer. Then Cell was able to beat Vegeta easily. I tried to stop him, but my father knocked me out, and by the time I woke up, it was too late. Why, uh, yes, 18, I, I suppose I would like to penetrate you with my long sword. Uh, the one that's on my back! On my back! Oh, yes, of, of course. Still, so, 18, this little girl is your daughter, right? She, she isn't my daughter too, right? Say, wait a minute. Your daughter's name is Marin, right? I just remembered something. I remember back when I was here when Cell was around and Gohan was a kid that Gohan once told me that Krillin used to date a woman by the name of Marin. Yeah, from what Gohan told me, this lady looked a lot like my mom. A little surprising that Krillin's daughter here would have the same name as the girl he used to date. Oh, man. Gohan is a mild-mannered scholar and a family man, while 18 is friendly to me. I mean, really friendly. For a moment, I'm starting to wonder if I got into the right timeline. Ah, <sighs> oh my. Is it wrong that I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's a good thing I wasn't able to bring you here? Good evening. My sword is nice, long, and sharp. I hope it doesn't make you feel too... inadequate. But of course I would make you feel inadequate. I'm younger, faster, stronger, and overall just far more powerful than you ever would be. Yet you were stupid enough to think that you could be an alpha male. But you are too weak. But at least you know how to satisfy. But don't worry, I'm sure you could drown your sorrows out with Yamcha later. Hey Goku, so why did you call us out here today? Oh come on Bulma, don't you think you're being a bit paranoid? I mean, when we last saw them, they were just having a little chat. Wow. Well, uh, that escalated quickly. Check my power level again. I'm sure it's way higher than your lowly power level. I'm a Namekian, you bald Neanderthal. We Namekians live out in nature and don't require currency and live under simple means. I could live anywhere else on Earth. I just didn't want to. So, tell me, Nappa, what were you to Vegeta back then? His servant or his pet? Yes, Goku. What are you doing? Gohan, I just have one question for you. Can I come live with you, please? Oh, trust me, Gohan, I would not mind watching over your daughter in general. But yes, I would be happy to look after your daughter, Pan. Anything to get out of that cesspit of sexual angst that is your old home. It's okay, Gohan. You and Goten have given me a sense of purpose in my life, and how it's not just about fighting. So I'm grateful for that, Gohan. I really am. Hey, there is nothing lowly about Piccolo. Uh, Father, that's not exactly the best choice of words here. Um, Father, that's not exactly the best choice of words here. Uh, yes, Father. Boys have wee-wees. That is one way to put it. <clears throat> anyway, that doesn't apply to Namekians, since their bodies are rather different from humanoid races, such as Saiyans and Earthlings. So in other words, Namekians are neither boys nor girls. Well, okay, Father. I suppose that's fair. 
After all, there are many aspects of Piccolo, such as his voice, mannerisms, and overall appearance, definitely seem masculine to people like us. But technically and biologically speaking, Namekians have no gender. Do you understand now, father? Huh? Mom, what are you doing here? Uh, Mom, what are you doing here? Uh, Dad, part of me is really scared to ask this, but why do you think Vegeta is your second wife? Uh, Dad, part of me is really scared to ask this, but why do you think Vegeta is your second wife? Okay, Kakarot, why do you keep the Namekian around? After all, I know your boy is soft, and since he is half-human. But what about you, Kakarot? Why do you keep the Namekian around? So, let me get this straight, Kakarot. When you and the Namekian are not getting into fights, you normally use the Namekian for labor, in which you barely pay him in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I get it now, Kakarot. The Namekian is a slave. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Oh, I don't know, Namekian. When you guys aren't fighting to keep her around for labor, and they don't really pay you, so it sure sounds like slavery to me. Nanny! Who are you calling a nanny, woman? I'm a proud Saiyan soldier here. And plus it's pronounced babysitter. What in the... The power level in Kakarot's woman has skyrocketed. What is going on here? <laughs> ah, you know what, Vegeta? Suddenly I'm not so angry about the whole thing of you destroying me just because I got beaten by Kakarot once before anymore. What can I say? I think you're being punished enough. Okay, to anyone actually listening to this, this one was difficult, but it was fun. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that. That was awesome. I got to agree with Goku. Seeing older trunks there is like this is strange. Hey, Baba, are you sure that forest of fear of yours isn't on the fritz? Indeed, this is getting spicy. Uh, nothing, Haiti. Nothing at all. Well, after all, that older trunks went back to some other future world. And I think he was with that older May girl as well. So I don't see why Krillin is anything to worry about. I got to agree with Goku, saying older trunks there like this is strange. Hey, Baba, are you sure that forest of fear of yours isn't on the frets? Indeed, this is getting spicy. Uh, nothing, hating, nothing at all. Well, after all... That older Trunks went back to some other future world. And I think he was with that older May girl as well. So I don't see why Krillin is anything to worry about. Ah, Goku, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Hmm. Oh my. Am I interrupting anything? Ah, uh, yes, Goku. Your rather touchy-feely way of telling someone's gender would not be necessary around Beerus and I. I assure you. Now, Chi-Chi, let's be reasonable here. He can do his chores after his training. Oh, well, that does sound lovely. I mean, you are absolutely right, Chi-Chi, that Goku should be more responsible about his duties. So who am I to get in the way of something like that? Uh, oh, no, this looks bad. Very bad. Eh, uh, yes? Uh, sure, Mr. Voice in my head. I'll do whatever you say. Oh, that is it, Vegeta. I'm cutting you off. Now is not the time to destroy your alleged marriage. Yeah, go soak like a whiny child. And you wonder why Goku is more successful. You, Mr. Satan! You speak to the people of Earth and do some damage control. And while you're at it, you get the people of Earth to raise their hands. Got it? Why, yes, Trunks. I, in fact, would like to thank you. Despite all the horrible things that my and Seventeen's future counterparts did, you did try to save me from Cell then. I must say, you are quite the hero. <laughs> True, but I suppose a little retribution is in order. But don't worry, I'll let you take the first shot. Mm, say, 
why don't you take that big long sword of yours and use it on me in fact try to shove it down my throat <clears throat> oh yes or if you like you can penetrate me penetrate me real good true but I suppose a little retribution is in order but don't worry I'll let you take the first shot say why don't you take that big long sword of yours and use it on me in fact try to shove it down my throat Oh, yes, or if you like, you can penetrate me. Penetrate me real good. Come on now, Krillin, you know very well that even though you get to fight more often, I'm easily the more powerful one. The only reason why I stay on the sidelines is to keep Marin safe. Oh, Marin, sweetie. These nice old folks don't need to know what Mommy was doing with older trunks that night. Marin, sweetie, these nice old folks don't need to know what Mommy was doing with older trunks that night. What are you two whispering about? What are you two whispering about? What are you two whispering about? <laughs> All right, yes. When Krillin took older trunks to her home one night, trunks did get a little nervous around me at first, so I was being rather friendly to him. And apparently that judgmental little idiot Krillin took it the wrong way. I was just being hospitable. <sighs> All right, yes. When Krillin took older Trunks to our home, one night Trunks did get a little nervous around me at first, so I was being rather friendly to him. And apparently that judgmental little idiot Krillin took it the wrong way. I, I was just being hospitable. You weren't supposed to tell anyone about that! Ah! Vegeta! You weren't supposed to tell anyone about that! Yeah, well, maybe if you didn't do stupid things like blow up a martial arts tournament, then maybe I wouldn't have to be so secretive. Yeah, well, maybe if you didn't do stupid things like blow up a martial arts tournament, then maybe I wouldn't have to be so secretive. No, oh, I'm gonna get so many lawsuits. So, so many lawsuits. Oh, I'm going to get so many lawsuits. So, so many lawsuits. Oh, I don't know, Vegeta. Goku does raise a few valid points here, after all. You do get really fixated on Goku. I mean, we all know you've been obsessing about one day beating Goku in a fight, which is why you train so much. So yeah, Vegeta, I'm sure you would make a lovely wife to Goku. Oh, I don't know, Vegeta. Goku does raise a few valid points here, after all. You do get really fixated on Goku. I mean, we all know you've been obsessed about one day beating Goku in a fight, which is why you train so much. So yeah, Vegeta, I'm sure you'd make a lovely wife to Goku. Goku? My husband has just left the room with your wife. Aren't you the least bit concerned about that? Goku? My husband has just left the room with your wife. Aren't you the least bit concerned about that? All right, Yamcha, you, me, my bedroom, now. Yep, you and I are going to do it for old time's sake, and we are going to do it a lot. All right, Yamcha, you, me, and my bedroom, now. Yep, you and I are going to do it for old time's sake, and we are going to do it a lot. Oh, congratulations, Piccolo. Goku has touched you more than he has touched me for nearly this past decade. I hope you feel very proud of yourself, Piccolo. I truly do. Hold it right there. Goku has been falling behind on his chores at the farm. I need him back home and work at harvesting our crops as soon as possible. Oh, I don't know, Wiz. I could always treat you and Beerus to a fine home-cooked meal while Goku does his chores. And when Goku finishes harvesting crops, I can make you even bigger meal for you two. So, Goku, who is your second wife? Who is the whore you apparently have been hiding behind all this time? Hmm? Oh my, 
I have no idea you felt so underappreciated. Vega. Though, I just realized something. Vega, for years you've been training so hard to one day beat Goku in battle. Tell me, why are you so fixated on being stronger than Goku so much? Is this because he has beaten you in battle before? What would you do if you ever beaten Goku? You know what? You're right, Vegeta. I do deserve a lot better than this. I can be doing so much more than just be Goku's housewife at some point. Little forest home that I had to turn into a farm just to make ends meet. I really can be doing so much more with my life. And maybe it's time that I should. Mommy! 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 But, but yeah, we don't... We don't know why either. After all, that Alder Chunks was really nice. And when he came to visit us one night, my mommy was being really friendly with him. And... Hush, child, uh, Granny and Mommy are talking. Daddy and Mommy are talking. Hush, child, Mommy and Daddy are talking. Here, have some ice cream. Yay! And don't worry, Mommy. Don't worry, Mommy. I believe you. And don't worry, Mommy. I believe you. sweet and oh my god I, th I have cavities now shit go brush my teeth of course not I'm sure there must be an explanation over what is going on here and you wonder why I charge you so much Roshi well miss 18 you do seem a bit flustered about this but I suppose I won't blame you you do seem to want a good, strong young man to be your family man, and that Trunks would be a fine young man in just about every way. So don't feel bad there, dearie. After all, I have played the field a bit too back in my day. Wait, Saiyan? Isn't he one of those guys from those spaceships who attacked us years ago? Vegeta? Hey, wasn't he the guy who blew up the World Martial Arts Tournament recently? Misunderstanding? A lot of people got killed there, dude! 